Before I got into the bikes, I, I was doing rust repair on, on old classics and, and stuff like that, with muscle cars and whatever. To me, in my opinion, there's assemblers and then there's guys that do the fab and, and, and the, the pre-building of the bikes. And then there's the guys that put them together. I was the one that did all the, the pre-building. Hey everybody, I'm Tracy, going as TJ, TJ of TJ Design. Uh, been uh, started my business about 31 years ago, and specializing in bikes for boy most of that time, 28, 29 years of that. Uh, got into doing street rods and things like that. You know, I started doing the the some custom paint jobs for Neil. Uh, and then it just kind of started progressing a little bit more and more. Uh, I was renting a shop with, uh, with an old buddy of mine that was into doing the street rods and the metal fabrication and stuff like that. That's where I started dabbling more into sheet metal type of fabrication. I was the one that did all the, the pre-building of it. I, I, I did the sheet metal fab. I, I made the bike pretty, you know, made, made it look what it, the, the way the bikes would look, right? You know? Um, but I wasn't the, the quote unquote builder of the bike in 02, I think it was 0102. Uh, I built my first full custom. Um, you know, I, I got all the parts from, from Neil at American Thunder and, and, you know, it was a typical kit bike kind of a thing, but, but I took, I built my own tank and my own rear fender and, you know, some, some cool custom side panels for, uh, that, that will go below the, 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 um, the oil tank and stuff, you know, and then, and then there's the crazy paint job on it. And, and, and pretty much from there, that kind of opened the door a little bit. And, and again, I, I was never known as a uh, quote unquote quote, bike builder. I was in, in the cities. I was always known as the painter. You see everybody getting all the fame and, and what you think is the fortune, right? Cause there's so much money in building bikes, right? It wasn't until the big wheel bagger craze that came around that uh, th that's when I built my next bike. Um, just a typical 21, you know, nothing special. I had a buddy of mine that, that actually did the assembly work and, and whatever. Kind of one thing led to another and, and then and then sold that bike and and built another one that had a 23. And then at the same time, built myself one with a 26 on it. Um and full air ride and all that stuff and you know it just kind of they kind of went from there kind of the crown jewels the one that's behind me here that's uh that's one that i built for my wife uh what is it now six years ago i think five six years ago finished it you know my wife got sick about six years ago and it just kind of took me out of the game you know i was i was kind of ramping the business up to to go a little bit more national because the bikes i was building was a bit more higher end when we unveiled it at down at the bike at, at the bike show, it was her birthday present kind of a thing, and that was a, that was huge. I mean, we had I don't know if I was the guest, 100, 150 people surrounding the display as I as I unveiled it, and it was pretty cool, pretty cool time. I'm so OCD and in, in particular about my stuff that you know when I when I walk up onto them and I see body lines and, and gaps and it bothered me. And so I just started, uh, that's when I really started focusing more on, on the attention to detail and, and making them better and nicer. And, and then when she got sick, that just took it all away. And the business kind of put it, got put on the back burner because of it, which I was okay with, you know, and, and now she, you know, she's getting better and she's self-sufficient and things like that. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking to get back into building bikes per se, unless the right customer came along. Um, but as of right now, I'm, I'm, I'm going back to the roots of just the custom painting part of it. The deal for me with the show up, up until my wife got sick was it was my, my whole essentially world uh, in the springtime revolved around that show because it was such a huge deal. It, 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 
it impacted my business. I mean, I, I used to tell people that I would get about 40% of my business came directly from the show. It brings people together and it, and it makes people start thinking. And, and for us in Minnesota, <laughs> it's cold up here. And so at the end of March, it kind of gives everybody that spring fever and gets people excited about the season to come. And, and so everybody kind of looks forward to it. Hey everybody, TJ, TJ Design again. Uh, looking forward to a great show this year. Uh, first time coming back and super excited and really pumped up. Hope everybody else is uh, excited and hope to see everybody down there.